Hey everyone, welcome to my video. I'm going to be doing a wig video. Washing my hair. I'm showing you all the products. I'm not going to go into detail because I've written them down. So basically I use warm water. I wet my hair in a downward motion. What you want to do is brush your hair beforehand so that you know it's not tangled or it won't get even more tangled when washing it with warm water, not hot water. I'm adding a bit of shampoo from the top. A little goes a long way. Um, I'm going to wash my hair in a downward motion so that my hair doesn't get tangled while I'm washing it. I'm going to add a little bit more. So add shampoo as and when you need to. Don't forget the inside of your wig cap where all that glue goes. Otherwise, there's no point really. Um, in a downward motion again. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to rinse it with warm water again. One to two washes is good enough depending on how often you wash your wigs. I hadn't washed mine in about two to three weeks. So I'm going to be doing two washes. Okay, I'm going to be doing my second wash. I'm adding a bit more shampoo from the top. I'm adding it in, push, well, squeezing it in. And then my downward motion, um, that's how I will wash my wig. Well, that's how I wash my wig, rather. Rinsing it off with some cold water. I don't know who put two reds on the tabs, but the, the one I'm using now is cold water. Rinsing it off. Now I'm going to add some conditioner. Condition from the top to the bottom, but make sure your roots get enough conditioner as well. And I'm just pushing it in to the top because really, if your top looks dry, well, the top of your wig looks dry, then I mean, what's the point? Adding a little bit more. Squeezing it in. I'm going to add a bit of treatment because I'm deep conditioning my wig today because I've neglected it. Um, this deep treatment is really expensive. It's about 500 and something. So I've added an alternative instead. There we go. I've written an alternative. I use that just for extra moisture if my wig has been dry or I've abused it with heat or something like that, which I have. And then I'm going to put my wig in the microwave once I've done this for like about two to three minutes. If you have a stocking cap, do not try this. There we go. I've used it. Oh, well, I've taken it out of the microwave. It is boiling hot. Um, if you have a stocking cap, don't use it or a weak wig cap that stretches because it will damage your wig entirely. So check what kind of wig cap you have and then decide if you want to heat it up. If not, keep it in the plastic for like a few hours and then continue with what I'm doing now. So then you can rinse it off. It was really hot. Really hot. Rinsing it off with some cold water. And there we go. Some more cold water. So check what kind of wig cap you you have before damaging your wig squeezing out the excess water and then i'm going to use some oil treatment this just adds a little bit of moisture to the hair once it's dried i've um, listed an alternative um, oil that you can use because this one's also ridiculously priced i'm just squeezing it in i want it to dry with that bit of moisture so it has a bit of shine once i've washed it and i'm in a hurry to use a wig so i'm gonna dry it if you're not gonna dry it well, with a hair dryer and you're gonna air dry it then that's fine you can skip this step or you can continue with the step so that you have extra moisture and that bit of a natural shine to your wig Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to dry it. I've put it on a wig cap. This part had to be the most difficult part ever. This head kept on falling. I don't know how many times I had to cut out that. It was a mess, but I tried my best. I was in a hurry to use the wig, so I dried it. But normally the best thing to do is to air dry your wig and then brush it out with a detangling um, brush. 
And then later on, if you feel you want to dry it because it's too poofy, then you can do that. So I'm going to dry it out. Please excuse my voice. Um, I've been really sick. I've hardly had voice. So this is what I'm working with probably for the next couple of days. So please excuse me. It fell again. That's why I had to start over. So I'm drying it with warm, um, not hot, but warm heat. Because, like I said, again, I was in a hurry. If you want to do it with cold, you can. But that's the same as air drying it. So you might as well just leave it out there to dry. There we go. Oh, I wanted to remind you, while you're still watching the video, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm well on my way to 500 um, subscribers. I really appreciate everyone for subscribing. That's what it looks like, but it wasn't dry. It wasn't completely dry. It was still drying, but it looked quite good. There was a bit of shine to the hair. It was looking pretty good. Um, oh, yeah, I was still saying, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to comment, tell me what products you use, if my method worked for you. Um, let's stay in contact. Please don't forget to also follow me on Instagram because I add some stuff to my stories as well, stuff that... Um, I upload quick quicker than I would a YouTube video. So that's basically what it looks like, but it hasn't dried completely. So I wanted to let it dry while I get ready because I dried half of it already. And then I'd come back and probably straighten it later. Thank you very much for watching the video.